in honour of 222, a ghost story showing here at the Grand Opera House Theatre in York. I thought I'd take you inside and tell you about some of the resident ghosts that still haunt the building to this day. In 1868, the building originally opened as the Corn Exchange serving for the city. And in 1902, it was converted into a theatre. In the auditorium, there is a mysterious Victorian gentleman who sits in one of the boxes watching the performance. But strange things have known to happen backstage as well. In the wings up in the fly, cast members report hearing whistling coming from either side of the stage, sometimes when they're performing. Now this could be from the days that when sailors would dock here in the city, they would earn a few pennies by being the flies here at the theater. It was their job to pull on these ropes to change the scenery. The flies would whistle to one another across the stage to communicate which ropes needed to be pulled. Are these flies still working years later? In a ghost investigation that happened in the theater just a few years ago, the participants claimed that they could hear footsteps walking across the stage when there was nobody else in the building and everybody was accounted for in the auditorium. Supposedly, one of the old theatre managers roams about the Grand Circle. He has an office just at the very back there, and the staff who work here to this day claim that they get a very uneasy feeling whenever they step into the office. So as you are watching 222, A Ghost Story, just be aware that there might be some paranormal activity happening in the seat just behind you.